Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again. I'm at the train station right now, heading my butt on over to Hollywood. I'm gonna be attending a very special movie premiere tonight of a film called Veronica. And it's this one's directed uh, by Glenn Danzig, who you guys all know from The Misfits and things, and this is his directorial debut film. So I'm gonna be heading on down there, seeing the sights, seeing the people that, and, you know, that show up to the film premiere. <laughs> Well, I'm also going to be meeting up a, a very special guest, uh, you know, for this video today. My homeboy, Aaron. We're both going to be going to this premiere together. Well, guys, made it into Hollywood okay. But before I meet up uh, with my friend, Aaron, I got to get something to eat because I haven't really had anything today. I ended up stopping off over at this place called Perfect Pita and uh, got myself some... Um, falafel balls. I think the first time I ever tried them was like back in like junior high so like I've always kind of always kind of like really liked them. Hey everyone just came across my friends Aaron and Brian. What up guys? Hey. We're rocking it out here in Hollywood about to go to the Glenn Danzig uh, premiere of Veronica. Veronica. I think I called it Veronica at the beginning yeah. of this uh, out and about adventure here but uh, this this screening is sold out uh, right now you guys are both rocking your uh, oh, yeah. Danzig attire right now like a couple of nerd boys <laughs> But uh, there's also a big-ass line across the street. What's this theater called again? Uh, it's called the Ricardo Montibon Mo Montibon and I think uh, if I'm not mistaken isn't that the dude from Fantasy Island? But we're gonna be heading on over to the theater right now who knows who's gonna be in attendance But as you can see like we said it's the screening is sold out right now. We have a whole bunch of uh, you know, Danzig fans out here just waiting, uh, you know, for the for the screening. Well, we made it inside the Veronica uh, premiere right now. Here's the they got the poster. We got the not red carpet, but black carpet uh, right over here. We're just chilling, wandering around. Aaron, what is going on right now? Is, is Brian a celebrity after an hour to kill? Yeah, he is. Like, he gets interviewed and stuff? That's that's crazy. Ever since he started that film with us, I know. Shit, shit's going bonkers. Hey, you see how the tail he gets. I know, dude. You, you've been getting a lot of action since that hour to kill came out, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm here now with one of the stars of Veronica right here. So, what is, the, is there anything about the film you can tell us about that people don't know of? Yeah, right? No, I'm about to. No, I'm not going to say anything. You can't tell me anything. No, no, I'm going to get in trouble. So there's like nothing super crazy or over the top There happens? is lots of amazing and super crazy stuff, yeah. Is there any, any super crazy stuff that you do in there? Like, do you take people's heads off or like, I, karate chop someone? I do a lot of taking heads off. I do a lot of splitting throats. Okay. questions here. Glenn, what was the most difficult part of the process for you? You were a director, a writer, a producer, a DP. You had your hands in uh, just about everything on this one. What was the most difficult part for you? Um, working within the budget. <laughs> yeah, that's it, it, if you do something you love, it's difficult. And of course, 
on a movie set, there's tons of problems that happen that you would never foresee, so you have to like hit the ground running and just not think about it and just make it happen. And uh, yeah. right from the start, it was very clear we're not making a Hollywood movie. Um, a lot of my you know, influences and the different films I like, especially European films, uh, you can see them in here. And uh, the lighting, the colors, it's much different than a movie you would see nowadays. So, um, again, thanks to the crew. You guys did a wonderful job. What do you think of the movie? It's fucking awesome. She was great. But guys, for you who don't know, this is the rooftop uh, movie theater out here in Hollywood where they're having the after party uh, for this film. There's people everywhere over here. They have pizza uh, going on down there. They have cute girls going on over here see there, 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 every corner we go I don't see a green band there, there, there's always cute girls right around the corner hey you never know but uh yeah man there's uh, I'm not gonna lie I, I don't have a wristband and I was not supposed to get up here but I got up here anyway somehow good man you deserve it don't tell nobody what did you think about this uh, this film the new this I thought, feature film I thought it was awesome so fun, I had a blast. So you're into Glenn Dan, Dan, Glenn's music? Uh, my wife is, I, I don't, you know, my wife is like the biggest Misfits and Danzig and Champagne yeah. fan. Um, I'm a big horror movie fan, so I was excited. Yeah. What, what are some of your favorite horror films? Uh, I love The Descent. I love The Thing. Uh, I love, uh, I just saw Midsummer. that was really good. That was Hereditary, cool. yeah. All right, man. I just want to say thank you oh, so much for you. taking the time yeah. to talk to me. And make sure you guys check out his newest film coming out soon called yeah. uh, Stuber. Stuber, that's yeah. right. At least, yeah. at least I got that one right, right? You did. You yeah. did. Thanks, man. All right. Still at the after party right now with two of the most lovely ladies over here at the party. Hello. What, are you guys eating pizza or are you eating your phone? Oh, I'm eating my phone. Yeah? Uh, yum, yum. I'm not going to gain weight from this one. <laughs> no, but if you guys know, you know Veronica, she was in an hour to kill uh, that, you know, I helped make with Aaron. And uh, she was the pig, the pig girl at the end, the pig oh, stripper. The pig stripper. Yeah. yeah I was the pig stripper. Have you ever been a pig stripper in a movie before? Uh, no, but I have been in real life. Yeah, a stripper. Wait, wait, no, a pig stripper. For real? Get it right. Look, Boys these days, I tell ya. She was talking to me a little while ago about her YouTube channel she has, and she uh, she wants to do a makeup tutorial on me. Yes. So beauty birds. Uh, we review things beauty and skin related and things like that. This is Jacqueline Passaro. She is a comedian. Yeah. A comedian. Okay. So like, when, oh. when are we getting together? You gonna put makeup on me and make me fabulous? Fabulous. Well, um. Let's see, what do you got going on two days from now? I'm off on Thursday. I'm not. How about next week? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll talk on Instagram. All right. But I don't know what my work schedule We're is at the moment. We're going to make you look like Morticia. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking Elvira. I'm thinking yeah, something like that. Elvira? Who, who have you always wanted to look like? Mm. Marilyn Monroe. Christina yes. Ricci? That will be a stretch. All right, guys, I'm now with the man himself, the SNL legend. Man, how are you doing tonight? Right. I'm an SNL legend. To me, you are, man. <laughs> uh, but what did you think about this film? I loved it. I love everything that Glenn does, and I just love the spirit of it, and I loved how it got the crowd together. Like, yeah. everyone was, like, just, like, rooting for Danzig, and as it should be, and it was like, I love horror movies, mm -hmm. and it was awesome, I loved it. Yeah, because people are calling it like, you know, um, like, the, like the new room, in a way. To me, I'm calling it a masterpiece by Dan. Yeah, no, I, th I thought it was a, a piece of a piece of work. Yeah. But uh, what, what have you been up to that you can let people know about that are, that are out there watching? I'm happy to be here with you. Thank you, sir. The after party is now over. Uh, sad to say, Glenn, you know, Danzig wasn't doing like interviews or anything like that with anyone, to be honest. But uh, yeah, my buddies 
are right over here. I just got out of the after party, which I kind of snuck into. Yo. What's up, man? <laughs> Where, 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 where's Jacob? He left? Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. We, we were just at the bar right now. You're at the bar? Yeah. yeah. They had open bar upstairs. Yeah. I know. I couldn't get in like this guy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even have a wristband. I just sort of just went up in there. You're the guy. Yeah. <laughs> but sad thing is, Danzig wasn't doing any interviews with anyone. Uh. Not even the press guy that was here. But it's cool, whatever. He has mod mobs of people around him. Well, guys, I pretty much just got back home. Aaron, you know, got me back. But... I want to talk to him about anthologies. You know what I mean? Like, what is one of you, like, do you, what are some of your favorite anthology films? I'm actually a huge fan of uh, horror anthologies. Um, obviously, the best one, hands down, is probably Creep Show. Mm -hmm. One and two, but the first one's a little. The bit. third one sucks ass. Yeah, I don't even consider the third one part of it. Mm -hmm. um, but then, then you got to go back to like the '60s with all the like all the British ones, mm -hmm. and then there's like in the '70s there's like. Um, Trilogy of Terror, mm -hmm. and then in the 80s, there was a whole bunch, uh, like Creep Show and Twilight on the movie, and mm -hmm. Tales from the Dark Side, and... I like that, um, what was that called again? Um, Trick or Treat, that, that came oh, out, yeah. like, in the what, late 90s, early 2000s, that was actually kind of a... That movie. was a really good one. Yeah. Um, there, then there's Chillarama. Yeah, which... Uh, uh, <laughs> you can kind of see me if you pause it right in the yeah. background like some asshole. Um, Wadzilla, the one that you're in, it was the best segment by far. Yeah, dude, Adam Rifkin's is shit, dude. Yeah. But, yeah, dude, like, I, I had a good time hanging out with you guys today, just messing around. I didn't know I was going to be, you know, going up to the after party or anything like that. It just sort of, like, I guess happened. You said maybe it's the way I dress. They didn't give a shit to check a wristband or something. Well, the thing is, see, I look like a fanboy. I'm wearing a dancing shirt. Yeah. And then you're dressed up in a suit, so... You know, people people read off of that, so maybe. And plus, yeah. I was walking up there with Veronica Ricci and her friend. When you're with two hot chicks in the suit, yeah, you can get in some doors. But um, it's cool hanging out with you, man. You too. Hopefully, we do something again soon. Yeah. But uh, I gotta go upstairs. I feel tired, and I want to go to sleep. You have any final words? Um, go see Veronica. That's a good movie. Yeah, man, check it out. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It was alright to me. He was laughing, like and you know some of our other friends were laughing. Maybe it's just like you know, because I'm like under a little bit under the weather. I'm just kind of like, Ugh, I don't know. But they, you, you got to be into like those kind of movies, like the, I mean, it's, so it, like so bad they're good. And it's 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 anti Hollywood. Like it's totally like not a Hollywood movie. This is like a total independent yeah. horror film. So if you're into those types of movies. Mm -hmm. This is uh, two thumbs up. It's kind of like, like you were saying, and we were talking about earlier, it's kind of like the horror version of The Room. Yeah. In a way, like people are laughing at stupid stuff like that shouldn't be happening, like lingering on <laughs> shots for too long. Like, why, you know, kind of thing. Or the girl had like a, she, she's riding a horse and she and she puts the, she puts the, the, the thing the, on like a little branch. On a little teeny branch. Like, yeah. it's going to hold it, you know? It's like little, little stupid things. I don't know if Glenn Danzig meant that to be like that or not. But, like, certain little things like that were kind of funny. But, I'm not going to lie, I can't really recommend the movie. He liked it. But, hey, T eats his own, guys. But, uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. Let us know what your favorite Misfits uh, song is down below in the comments. And, uh, we'll see you guys all next time.